So I have to say, I saw you flash your shoes. You see They're amazing. Can we see them? Can you see? They it's, are. It's incredible. unfair to cut them up with a long skirt, but please see. They're Louboutins. They're, uh, they're beautiful. They're pretty unbelievable. They're a bit like a butterfly. Yeah, they're incredible, aren't they? And isn't uh, the character world kind of your love interest in the film? Do they not make you quite a lot taller than him? They, they, uh, they make me a lot taller than all of the boys and the writers and directors, but you can't. You can't. I'm not going to mess up. No, of course not. Um, so are you kind of sort of overwhelmed with it? You're, you're the newest addition to the film. Are you overwhelmed by this reaction, all of these people? Yeah, I mean, I knew it was going to be big because the last film was big. And I know that The Inbetween Us has real die-hard fans, which I love. I'm a die-hard fan myself. I'd probably be out there, to be honest, if I wasn't on here. Um, I have always absolutely loved it. So uh, I knew it would be a big deal, but when I got out of the car and heard the noise, I just thought, this is more than I could have imagined. Really. Does it make you feel a bit nervous? Uh, yeah, it does actually. And what I'm most nervous about is I haven't seen the film yet. So tonight is the first night I'm going to see it. Right. Okay. So you kind of are you expecting any surprises, or do you think you kind of know? I hope I know. I think I know what. what oh, I read the script, obviously, and yeah. I was there when we filmed it. But when you see it all put together, you have no idea what it will uh, assemble into. But I have absolute faith. They've made many years of a good TV series, a brilliant last film. I, I have no doubt, doubt they pull it off again. And was it hard, kind of being on set with the boys when they've been doing it for so long, with lots of in jokes, lots of words you hadn't heard before? Because there's always words I haven't heard. Uh, there were hundreds of in jokes, but what they were really good at is every single in joke. They laboriously explained. They were like, Emily, don't worry. Um, this relates to a gag from five years ago where we used to play a game where we try and touch each other's penises. Um, don't worry, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, thanks so much for explaining. So I never felt like I was, you know, catching up because they were keeping me up to speed the whole way. That's great. And, and who, who's the funniest? Well, who's the funniest person on set, even if it's not just the four? Who's the funniest person on set? That's a good question. I'm going to annoy them all and say uh, Ben Wheeler, the DOP. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, they're all really funny. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, and uh, is there any funny moments on set that we would have missed in the film in Australia? Did anyone come visit? Any surprises? Or There were a lot of... I mean, the, the whole shoot was just hilarious. It was, it was constantly a case of the guys trying to put each other off. In between takes, they would fart, they'd grab each other's props and try and chuck them off set so that when they said action, you know, they were like, oh, I haven't got my thing. You know, so it was a, it was an ongoing kind of battle to actually make a film. But I hope we did it. Great. Right. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Thanks, really. Thank you.